Today I wanna to go over the Service First Starlink Generation 3 adapter for your Starlink system. By using this adapter, you can use any flagpole and mount your Starlink adapter to it. And this is great whether you're RVing, whether you're tailgating, camping, or just at your house, you can use your flagpole and this adapter to mount your Starlink and get service. Now let me go over how to install the Service First Starlink adapter with the Starlink system and then to one of our poles. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is take your RJ45 Starlink cable and put it through the opening slot right here on the adapter. Now that it's through the inside, go ahead and push it through the notch here in the front and then you can go ahead on your Starlink and clip your RJ45 into the Starlink. Now, simply all you have to do is slide your adapter into place until you hear it click. To remove the Starlink adapter, simply put your two fingers underneath and push upward slightly and pull back and your adapter comes out. The next step you'll wanna take is a Phillips screwdriver and remove the top ring and the top plastic piece from your flagpole. And you can see that there is a small Phillips screw right there. Okay, now that you have the top piece and the first ring removed from your flagpole, take the rubber adhesive slip and mount it around the top of the flagpole. Okay, now that you have the rubber adhesive mounted to the top of your flagpole, you'll simply mount your adapter on top and then tighten the set screws into this rubber adhesive. Okay, this is an important step because number one, this rubber adhesive protects the top of your flagpole and number two, it provides an amount of grip when you tighten your set screws uh, in, into the flagpole. It allows it to really cinch tight, decreases vibration and allows this to stay tight, hopefully in, in a lot of different conditions. Okay, the next step is to simply take your adapter, which is now mounted onto your Gen 3 Starlink, and put it on top of the flagpole and use your set screws to tighten in place. Okay, now that you have your Starlink mounted in place, you'll want to ensure that the set screws are nice and tight using your Allen key that uh, came with the package. And at this point, you can wrap your cord down along the flagpole however you wish and then you can go ahead and raise your flagpole. Now we recommend in any type of windy or gusty conditions that you pull down the flagpole to prevent any damage uh, to your Starlink or the flagpole in case there's a big gust of wind or any type of other natural event. You'll wanna make sure that this is stowed properly and secured in place. And finally, the great thing about this adapter system is that you can turn any flagpole that we sell, whether it's the Adventure Series, the Freedom Series, any of our telescopic flagpoles, or even our sectional flagpoles. It allows you to take that flagpole and mount your Starlink on top. If you have any questions, please go ahead and contact us.